Welcome back to Julian's Magician School. As a special treat today we have, it's not a card trick, it is Signor Valdez, the world's strongest and happiest bed bug. Signor Valdez! Here he is. Can you see him? He's small, isn't he? I'll put him there. Can you see him now? No? I'll put him on the white card. Can you see him now? No? Maybe the magnifying glass. Can you see him now? <laughs> He's happy, isn't he? Signor Valdez will impress you. He will carry this heavy barbell up an inclined tightrope. Signor Valdez, you rest while I prepare the stage. Oops. Signor Valdez, I shall prepare the tightrope. Jump up, grab the barbell, and watch. Here he goes. Do I hear an ooh? Ooh. Do I hear an ah? Ah. Signor Valdez, Prepare to dismount. Oh, back up here. Would you please give Signor Valdez a big round of applause? Uh oh. That's showbiz. So finally a use for your broken old rubber bands or hang the expense, use a brand new one just for this trick. This works on the principle that if you pinch a section of rubber band and stretch it like that and release the pressure here that the rubber band contracts and you'll see the end going up on this side here but you don't see any perceived change in length on the section between your fingers. The friction on the rubber band if we put something on that at the same time we, we release the pressure the friction holds that object on the rubber band and gives the illusion that it's moving along. And that's the whole principle, 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 principle behind it. I've just tied a little knot in the end of one of these uh, ends here. So if I'm not thinking about it, I can feel that knot come up and not let the end slip through my finger. This is traditionally done with someone's uh, ring from their finger. If you want to make it a bit more theatrical, you can do this little Signor, Signor Valdez that I've done. I use a little barbell here just from a twisted piece of paper and I flatten the ends out like that because it looks more like a barbell but it also makes it easy for you to stick it in the edge of a card box Oops. and that way it's a lot easier to lift that on to the rope and let them go like that if you want to use the magnifying glass gag, well, uh, this one here, all I've done is I've glued the picture of Signor Valdez into the back of a magnifying glass. Well, I haven't glued it, I've just sticky taped it. It's really quite rough. Now, this is not a big laugh. It's just a, uh, a fun uh, smile, chuckle line, but it's worth it. People like it. If you want to do that, then go to this website here, it's my website, or if you're on YouTube, the blue hyperlink directly below the box here, and you can print out this selection of Signor Valdez pictures. Now, I've given you um, a large one, a small one, a medium one. I've put one in a magnifying glass. You can just glue that to a bit of cardboard and cut it out and use it like that. And I've also given you one here that's on a blurred out hand. So if you don't want to put them on a white piece of paper, you can just put them up against your hand. Uh, they do come out the correct color. Uh, my printer just ran out, ran out of magenta ink. Uh, so that's sort of the color that it comes out. And that's about it. Oh, now, if you want to animate another trick, then uh, with this idea of Signor Valdez, then go to video number 35, the psychic straw. It's the one where you move the straw on a water bottle. Maybe you can use the Signor Valdez principle there and marry these two tricks up. All right, that's it. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it.